Today we're going to talk about Fraud. Version 2.3.2 was released this week, the last week of August 2022. This release includes new features like support for opening pull requests for PIP, PIPAMP, and JARN, show scan results in the GitHub security tab. We also added the action templates to GitHub workflow templates, so you can add them easily. So, what is Frogbot? Frogbot is a Git bot that scans your pull requests after they are opened and also scans your Git repositories right after a pull request is merged. How Frogbot scans pull requests? Well, Frogbot uses j x ray in the background. After executing the pull request scan workflow, Frogbot will add the results of said scan as a comment on the pull request. Frogbot supports GitHub, GitLab, and Bigbucket server projects that manage their dependencies with npm, jarn2, maven, gradle, go, pppm, nugget.net. For security reasons, Frogbot is not triggered automatically. After a developer creates a new pull request, the maintainer of the Git repository can trigger Frogbot to scan the pull request. The scan results will include only new vulnerabilities added by the pull request. Vulnerabilities that are new and existed in the code prior to the pull request creation will not be included in that report. If you want to include all vulnerabilities in the report, including older ones, use the JF include all vulnerabilities environment variable. The steps involved are a developer opens a pull request. The Frogbot workflow automatically gets triggered and a GitHub environment named Frogbot is pending the maintainer's approval. A maintainer reviews the pull requests and approves the scan. Frogbot can be triggered again following new commits and approving each scan. What do the pull request comments look like? If the workflow execution is successful, the scan results will either show vulnerabilities found or not. If there are no vulnerabilities, everything is green. If there are vulnerabilities, the following information is added to the comment of the pull request. Severity, impacted package, version, fixed version, component, component version, CVE. With all this information, we can prevent merging code that has known vulnerabilities. But what happens if we still merge the pull request? Don't worry, there is a solution for that. Scanning repositories after pull requests are merged. The scan is triggered when commits are pushed to the repository. In the pull request, Frogbot will add a commit to upgrade vulnerable dependencies to a version with a fix. In GitHub repositories, Frogbot also adds the security alerts on their GitHub UI. How cool is that? Okay, now let us add Frogbot to a GitHub Maven project. This is a trivial Maven project. To add Frogbot, we need to configure details of our JFrog environment. In this case, the JFrog URL and the JFrog access token. So we go to secrets. The JFrog URL can be found on platform configuration, platform security, general. We can create an access token in user management access token. Make sure GitHub Action has permissions to create pull requests. Create a new Frogbot GitHub environment and add people or public teams as reviewer. We need to add the GitHub Actions. You can copy both actions from the Frogbot GitHub repository. Remember, we have the JFrog URL and the JFrog Access token 
to find a secret. We can copy from the GitHub Action template the scanfix Maven JML file. As soon as the file is committed, the scan and fix workflow is triggered, and as no vulnerabilities are found, we can continue as normal. I will add a new pull request that does add a known vulnerability. As soon as the pull request is open, the scan pull request workflow is triggered. In this case, I am the only maintainer, so no approval is needed. The results of the scan are added as comments. Oh no! Nevertheless, I will merge this pull request. Do not do this at home unless you have a good reason. The create fix pull request workflow is triggered. The new code scanning alerts are found and displayed on the security tab. So it will save the day by creating automatically a pull request. I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy coding!